The sea is quiet and I don't know why But I can feel it coming down tonight We can't stay here much longer now The day is done, your friends are gone They kissed your cheek and you walk them down just as far Just as far Tim! as you dare to go Tim, come on! And you feel like the one who was lost to Tim, the I really need to spin in your step here because this is what you better do In your eyes all the days you don't want to begin You've been walking this ground too long you are going to be sleeping with me in my room, by the way. All of the fires in all of the fields. Blair is staying here, and you can take your room. The attic it's cool. They're fading fast. You can't bring them with you this time. As the leaves fall away and the sun dies too soon. Darling, can you feel me standing right here next to you? Found some of your stuff in here. I put it in the hall. Too long. Do you remember who you were? Every time that you start. Make sure you ask Jim at the counter. He's got this kind of cheese. It's Blair's favorite. I really want you to get it. And the turkey. God, don't forget the turkey. So take my hand and try to believe there's nothing lost, there's nothing to grieve, and you'll fall in love again, even if it's not with me, even if it's not with me. Just don't pee on me, okay? okay. We'll be fine. You, you got the food. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Hi. How's work going? Fine. I don't want to bother you, but I need to ask you something. Well, I was thinking, it's been a long time since we've all seen each other, and I don't think that we've all been in, in touch very much. So I was wondering if you could just help me smooth things over and make sure everyone gets along. It's really important to me. Right. So, could you just, like, be as extroverted as possible? You mean, you want me to tell jokes and things like that? Be funny? Yes. Yeah, funny is great. Funny is perfect. Sure, yeah, I can do that. Great. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, I had to. She begged me. Hey, 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 come on. It's the last time we can do this, you guys. It's not like you ever came before. Hi, Blair. Hi, Jim. 
Hi, I'm Matthew. Hi. Really? Yeah. Matthew. This is Ellie, and this is Peter. Hi. The crumbling remains of the Porter Empire. Oh, it's still got that shabby shoe thing going on. And it still has the faint smell of cat piss. Hey. <laughs> oh, you guys remember? Ah. <laughs> you remember when Sid, he tossed the glass at me and it got the... Right. So, yeah. Matthew, you got to make sure you got to sign the guest book. Oh! Ellie's parents hosted a lot of famous writers back in the 80s. Norman Mailer, Tom Wolfe, Joan Didion. <laughs> Who? Joan Didion. You've heard of Joan Didion. I know you have. <laughs> well, they're all in there if you want to take a look. You guys, your names are just as important. That's the summer that we all lived here together, and there's Blair and Sid and Peter. Everybody who's ever been in this house, they're in the book. And Matthew, now, you join the list. Jump. Okay, cool. You guys, it feels like the beginning of the summer, doesn't it? Yeah. I gave you your old room, I hope that's okay. What's going on with the house? The bank's gonna foreclose. Oh my God, when? Soon, I gotta get all my stuff out of here by the end of the month. Can't you sell it? It's been on the market for over a year. It's, it's just the lawyer is depressed and the house has dry rot, it's obsessed. Can't you take out a loan? Uh, on my income, are you kidding? Can't even afford the property tax. How could this happen? Uh, I mean, what about your father's insurance? He borrowed against it. What do you mean? There were financial problems the last couple of years. You know, I didn't know anything about it until after the accident. The lawyers told me that my dad almost declared bankruptcy twice. I'm so uh, sorry. Oh, I'm, you know, I'm sure it's not something he planned out that way. It's just, it's one of those things that happens and I'm gonna sort it out on my own. Ellie, if there's anything you need, uh, uh, if you need a place to stay or anything. Really? Of course. Uh, it's just funny. I was driving a couple of weeks ago and I went right by New Haven, but I just, I didn't know if I should stop by or... Alice. No, I just, I didn't know. Of course you should. You shouldn't even wonder about it. Just, just come. Man. <laughs> Thanks. She brought a boyfriend. So she finally let him out of her closet. Oh, he seems okay. Big little guy. He's cute. Guess who else is coming? <laughs> no way. His audition was miraculously canceled. He's on his way from the city. What, you talk to him? Yeah, sometimes. Hello there. Matthew. Hi. I'm Whit, Blair's friend from school. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Uh, I'm supposed to meet Blair, actually. I think she's with Ellie. They can wait. How was your drive? Oh, good, good. We took 95 the whole way. You know, it was a little longer than I thought. You know. It was fine. Drink? Vodka, gin, whiskey? Uh, no, thank you. I don't drink. My God, why? You know, you encounter so many boring guys out there. At least yeah. a good drunk has the passion of addiction. Misdirected passion, that is. Well, that only counts in the long run. <laughs> I'm actually a very nice girl. I forgot to tell you that I've completely changed. Well, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Whit, there you are. I wasn't expecting to see you. Here I am.
bless you. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, man. Old habit. You must be Matthew. I just assumed I was sleeping here. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm sick, by the way. Nice to meet you. You're hiding from me. Come on out. I want to look at you. Sid? Surprise. Come on, I want to see the ravages of three years. I'm in the tub. You'll see me later. Oh, come on. Just a peek. Sid? Okay. Okay. Maybe later. Well, off to the singles pad. Damn, I like the new hair. It's very slick. Sleek. Yeah. Using a product, Ellie, got me. Amazing product. Hey, you know, uh, takes care of the, uh, the frizzies. Isn't Ellie great? Sure, we love Ellie. Yeah, she's fun. Really fun. You know, there was this one time where Ellie ran out of toilet paper. Tim, you know what? The salad's ready. So why don't you just take that and put it on the table, okay? Thank you. Uh, how long has he been living here? About a year. A year. Like, he didn't have anywhere to go after Botswana, and I needed someone to look after the house. Right. Have you two fucked yet? We're totally past that. We have a purely platonic relationship. It's a very elevated friendship, and that's that's what it's about. So you think he doesn't want to get laid? No, I'm sure in some abstract way he does. Then do it as a favor to him. Barge into his room wearing a top hat and pasties. Be a fuck bunny. What if I don't want to be a fuck bunny? You don't want to? Hmm. What's going on? Ellie, where's the dining room table and chairs? They got sacrificed. Sacrificed? Yeah, I had to sell it. It was a museum quality set. So you guys use the um, folding table that's in the basement, okay? Yeah, that's going to work. Fun. Getting up to the usual. Just, uh, I'm still trying to write. Still working for that publisher. And masturbate occasionally. I heard you had a boyfriend. Oh, that. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, uh, no, that ended a few months ago. So, we'll get to meet him. You were together for a while, weren't you? Sort of, I guess. You know, I mean, we went out for a week. It took about a year to break up. You know? I'm glad you decided to crash the party, Sid. Yeah? Yeah. Hold on a second. Hmm? You got something, right? Oh. Oh. There. Huh. What do you want to do? You want to roll this thing? Yeah. With... It's me. Um, I'm up north in Maine. I'm staying at a bed and breakfast. Single bed. I just need a few days. Um, I'm sorry. 
I know, I'm acting stupid. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi. 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 Wow, look at this. It actually looks nice in here. It smells great. Wow, there she is. Hi, Sid. Hey, you dressed up. Sid, you met Matthew? Yeah, no, absolutely. Hey, Matt. It's Matthew. Oh, it doesn't matter, actually. No, that's, that's cool. I respect that. Well, welcome back. I, I just have to say, I'm so glad you guys all came. I know I had to lure you here by announcing I'm losing the house, but that's okay. Thank you for making such a big effort. I, it's just been way too long. It has. The posse is reconvened. I never thought it would happen. Oh, of course it would happen. We're all friends here. Well, let's not forget the new addition to a guest book. Welcome, Matthew. A toast to our new guest. A toast from our new guest. Yes, yes. Speech, speech. 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 No, I, I don't. You have to stand up. You do. You must. Yeah. Please. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, <clears throat> well, you need your hand glass then. Well, um, um, I guess thanks to everyone for having me. Uh, thanks to Tim in particular, uh, since he's the one who's living here now. And um, it's good to meet all of Blair's old friends. Heard a lot about you. Oh, we should also toast Wit for being appointed fashion editor at W Magazine at the ripe old age of 27. Really? It's true. What is that exactly? Well, I interview people like Stella McCartney and I find out what sort of dress the Boardman girls wore to the Met fundraiser. Very essential. Wit, I think that is so exciting. What about you, Ellie? What's, what's happened with you? Oh, you know, I'm considering a couple different things. So you're still working at that camp? Yeah. But I'm, I'm planning a change. It's for retarded kids, right? It's for all kinds of disabilities, actually. Yeah, what's it called again? Jabberwocky. That's great. So you guys, how did you meet? We met on campus, actually. Oh, you're a graduate student. No, I grew up in New Haven. Well, we met through the administration. He works at the forestry school, and he's going to go next year. So you're a, a townie of sorts. What? What's wrong with townie? Well, it's inappropriate. What are you, what are you talking about? It's a term of classification. It's an adjective. It's a noun, actually. Oh, come on, please. We've all used the term. Does it have to be an insult? No, it's really OK. Are you insulted? No, no, it's all right. You see? the dishes. I have to beg you to do the dishes. What is the matter with you? You ever go to that bar at Rudy's back in New Haven? Yeah, sometimes. We used to all go there when we were in school. You and I probably drank a beer there together and never knew it. Probably. You know, I was I was just kidding around earlier. I didn't I didn't mean to insult you. I know, it's fine. I've been called worse things. Me too, huh? I'm sorry she's not in. May I take a message, please? He knows you're standing right there. You haven't returned his past five phone calls. I, you want me to hang up? Yes. Hi. Yes. Now I know why you didn't tell me about him. Huh. Your boyfriend? You can say whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I like him. You like him. That's it? Seems like you two have a comfortable thing. It's not a thing. It's a relationship. 
Oh, well, you know me. Thing, relationship. I can hardly tell them apart. You haven't changed much, have you? <sighs> Probably not much. I try to exercise more. Yeah, well, you, what, well, what, why are you doing this? I don't, why are you doing this? Uh, well, well, my parents died, all right? They died in a fucking car crash, all right? <laughs> hey, what's up? Ellie, you okay? Ugh, just the visa, man, that was the fuck up. <sighs> Ellie, what's going on? Peter, it's fine, I'm fine. You're fine? I'm fine. I put everything I had into this place trying to hold on to it. Now I've got nothing. You know, I don't have enough money to move. I can't pay my bills. I don't know. Sometimes I just wish this place would burn down. Nah, no, you don't. Well, that's the thing. I found out like a month ago that the house is insured for way more than it's worth, so I would be quite happy, actually. Are you serious? It's just something that crossed my mind. I mean, take this weekend. With all of you up here, fire wouldn't be so suspicious. For instance, the electrical system got overloaded from all the guests. Or you could blame it on someone's carelessness, like, like you smoking in bed. Or when you left the iron on the ironing board. That wasn't me, that was Peter. It wasn't me, it, it, it was me, it, it was me. Like, if you think about it, it makes perfect sense. So, you wanna commit arson? Well, I think that's a strong way of putting it. Why are we talking about this? This is ridiculous. It is not ridiculous. It happens all the time. But we'd have all of us. Seven witnesses saying that a fire is an accident? It's foolproof. Sounds perfect. Every time I suggest anything that is remotely unconventional, you guys all just sit there and roll your eyes. What are we supposed to say? Something remotely supportive, maybe. You don't know what it's like to be in my position. None of you have any idea. Look, maybe, maybe you just need to take a little break. Maybe you should stop working for a while and come stay with one of us. I already stopped working. What do you mean? A jabberwocky? I got fired. What happened? I was getting edgy, and it made the kids nervous. She's been living here for about three months. Look, I was just fantasizing, okay? Let's just forget it. You know, I want to have a nice weekend. Hey. I'm gonna go to bed. You guys, I'll make pancakes. Tomorrow for whoever wants them. Sleep well. When's the last time you talked to her? I don't know. We haven't talked much. Have you? Just a couple of times. She sounded her usual self. I feel bad. I should have called more. Well, you you have your new life. It's it's understandable. Good night, everyone. I'll be in my room, nude, trembling, thinking of myself. Come in. Hi. Hi. I thought you were Blair. Oh, just me. Just came to talk before you went to sleep. Yeah, that was a great little freak out session, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought I was in touch, but I had no idea. Oh, you didn't seem interested. Now you're reading Sylvia Plath. Is that a good idea? Probably not. I'll let you rest. It's okay. You can still stay here. I can sleep on the couch downstairs. No, I'm gonna feel guilty if you sleep on the couch and I sleep in the huge bed. It's ridiculous, come on. I just came to see who you were. No, I know. 
done shots since high school. You do shots today, people think you're either looking to get laid or an alcoholic. Well, as my father says, no one in our family has ever died from alcoholism. Only cirrhosis of the liver. sex in that chair. It's a good chair. Towards the end of the summer, I was trying to break her into new stuff, slowly. So I take her downstairs, start a fire, and we did it right where you're sitting. For some reason, I can't picture Blair anywhere but on her back. See that end table? She pushed that over and broke some glasses when the, uh, Time came. Oh, oh God, that feels so good. You all right? It's just, I don't know. It's strange being here again. Reunions aren't always fun. Oh, I keep thinking it's been three years now. I'm working at my alma mater and I'm living two blocks away from my college apartment. Well, you got me to move in with you. I think that's pretty good. I know. So, do you like my friends? Well, they're not the most down-to-earth people I've met. They're my friends. I know, I'm just being honest with you. I mean, what was that with Sid? Oh, I don't, I don't know. He's just like that sometimes. And he's an actor? Yeah. He acts around town, I guess. Huh, he's got the looks for it. There's something I like to say in moments like this. It's sort of a tradition. What? I'm really drunk. have trouble in your beds. How about you? Oh, I'm just cooking an omelet. 
It's a good therapy. When my parents died, I used to cook all night. You want pepper? Um, sure. My parents were really social. You know, every year for them, it was like this big test to see who would skip the Hamptons and come all the way up here. I used to hate it. <laughs> but I understand it now. You know, I was so relieved that everybody said that they could come up. Why wouldn't they come? Well, I don't know. It, you know, people change and you lose touch. And don't you get scared that your friends are going to turn into strangers? You know, like you're going to wake up and everyone around you is just going to have no idea who you really are. I feel like that. What, she's crazy, is that what you're thinking? No, <laughs> no, not at all. Well, you're understanding then. What's that? Oh, uh, that's my growth chart. My dad used to measure me over the years. There's, there's 1979 and 83. Last one's 1990. Don't you think it's time to measure again? No, I stopped growing. Come on. All right, up straighter. Stretch. I probably shrunk. All right, your hair's bigger. Oh. There. Wow, progress. <laughs> We need to date it. Thanks. Sure. Well, I should probably get some sleep. Okay. Night. He was swollen by passion like a mongrel dog up a bitch, and until he juiced me, I was his. Good morning. Sexy stuff. <laughs> he liked prose better than pictures? Leaves more to the imagination. How was my delivery? Very convincing. See, it was worth it. I think I'm still drunk. Where's your jacket? Uh, it's back at the house. No, I, I'm all right. No, fine. Just, no, just I'm... take it. Okay. I wanted to ask you something. What? Do you have an extra cash at your disposal? What do you mean? Moving on to my dad's place, I need a little extra money to get started, you know, set up my place, put down my deposit. Do you think that's appropriate right now, considering LA's situation? Oh, I know. This commercial I got fell through, I just need a couple grand or whatever you can manage. Oh, well, I, mean, I can't, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I could use a couple grand right now and take some time off and write. Really, I'm... I'm no, that's, that's cool, don't worry about it. Something will come up. Okay. My hands are cold. Yeah. Rise and shine. Yeah, you look like Orson Welles. There you go. Can I 
give her some money. You asked me that after last night. No, last night was great. I just... I can't even look at you. You need any help? No. Just relax. My dad's cutting me off. He found me an investment banking job, 80 hours a week. If I don't take it, I'm out on my own. So you'll become a real starving actor? Yeah. So? It's the whole starving part, you know? I mean, it's not like we all consider each other best friends. That is not true. Don't say that, Peter. No, it is true. Admit it. We're, we're a motley crew. You see, Ellie's mom used to entertain all sorts of people over the summer, and Ellie took on the idea. She sort of gathered us together. Let's see, Ellie brought Tim, who I still don't get. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> also, uh, what? And then she invited me and, uh, and Wit. No, Wit actually totally invited herself. I think she thought it would be like a sick joke. Uh, next was, oh, Blair brought Sid. And then, uh, I don't know, somehow we all managed to have a great time. It was perfection. It was. So they were together once? Who's that? Um, Blair and Sid. Yeah, she, she didn't tell you? No, I mean, I mean, not in so many words. Oh, that's... Well, why should she? It was a long time ago. Yeah, it was, it was not a big deal. They were together for about two years. You guys, enough of that thing. They were gonna live together in New York City after the summer was over. But he blew off the plans at the last minute because his parents got him a job at the American Embassy in Paris. So, he breaks up with her. Two days later, he's living in France for six months. Dried apricots. What's that? What? For the stuffing. Blair wanted some. I don't know what else to say. I'm... I know I'm pathetic. I know I'm lame to be saying I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. Well, thank you, but it really doesn't matter anymore. You know, I have a completely different life. I've been thinking about you a lot since then, and I was... I was definitely the bad guy. We don't have to talk about this anymore. I have a lot of regrets. Sid, I'm in a new relationship. I work. I pay taxes. I really don't care what happened three years ago. And you're happy now living in New Haven? Yes. I'm very happy. I'm still gonna make it up to you. Don't worry about it. You'll see. I'd like to charge this to my account. Sure. Porter, P-O-R-T-E-R. Oh. You're the Porter girl? Yes. Your account's been closed a couple weeks now. Um, outstanding payment due. $326. I paid this bill. Uh, maybe there's something wrong with the bank. It's all good. Look, I'm so I'm really sorry. This is very embarrassing. I let me see. This is enough for this badge, so. Thank you. What's your name? Ellie. I'm Doug. Hi, Doug. I don't usually do this. I work the docks out in Portland, but uh, I busted up my foot. Oh, yikes. Thank you. No problem. Just don't tell Pete. No, I won't <laughs> tell him. Thank you. Take care. OK, let's see here. All right. No, no, fuck, seriously. no, forget it. No, no, no seriously. No. Are you gonna keep doing that, or? Okay. Wow, yes. thanks. Voila. Okay, yeah, so, this, no, this is me. This could be. What about this? Tim. Tim. Nice shot, Tim. Much more aggressive these days. Incredible. I've been practicing. Did you guys hear that Phil Mason and Catherine Lloyd are getting married? They are? Catherine Lloyd has no chin. You're right. What a bitch. Phil started his own software company. Microsoft wants to buy him out. 
He's already a millionaire. No, please, no, no success stories, okay? I can't take it. Larry Cummings made 150 grand his first year out of law school. La 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 la. Oh, puke. Marriage in law school is the death of our generation. Wow, it's a lot more productive than arson. I hate this game. It's your turn, honey. Just nudge Sid's ball out of the way. Okay, let's see what this boy can do. Is he worthless? Awfully nice. He's good. Matthew, however, has forgotten the finer points of croquet. Was that really necessary? He's a guest. It's the rule of the game. Remember, okay, I haven't quite finished it yet. Okay. Watch out. kept running off into the woods. Yeah, well, I hope you don't mind. I <laughs> borrowed some spoons. <laughs> no, I love it. It's great. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'll leave. No, uh, no, it's okay. I mean, it's okay, I just... I'm gonna go, all right? Oh, 
gracious Father, blessed be these, your most bountiful treasures. Deliver us from foolishness that we may not make light of your gifts and subject them to wanton destruction. Help us particularly not to set fire to them so that we may have a place to praise you again next year. You know, I've been, I've been thinking about this fire idea, which I must say I find very interesting. And I think I've found a solution. What we need is a volunteer. You see, if someone starts to fire without telling anyone else, then we're all innocent. You know, not even we know what happened. Couldn't we just pay someone to do it for us? I figured no one would volunteer, so I propose that we spin. To the person who the fire points at, therein lies the one who torches the house. He or she who is chosen cannot deny this most sacred responsibility. And no one in the name of general friendliness is allowed to betray or hinder the chosen. Ah. Okay, which one is it, me or him? I think it's Peter. Oh, it's definitely Tim. Look, it hits his shoulder. There, it's Peter. <laughs> Why not, you know? I mean, they usually blame the queers anyway, don't well, they? Well, then you'll be perfect. Let's just eat. Can you pass me the stuffing, please? You know, just once, I would like to be taken seriously. We are taking you seriously. This just isn't an option. Why? Look at us. This is ridiculous. People like us don't burn houses down. I think that's an elitist thing to say. Yeah, no shit. You know what I mean. It's just, uh, You know, come on. We're thinkers, not doers. Would you do it? Don't bring him in. Oh, well, why not? Because this is not about him. You know what, Blair? He is my friend and I'm allowed to talk to him. I'm a big girl. Thank you. Excuse me. You're being ridiculous. No, I'm not being ridiculous. You know what? All of you, you can go home to your parents, to your apartment, to your job, your boyfriend, and that is great. That is great for you. I will just fuck my way to Missouri and buy a trailer home. What, Tim? What? What are you thinking? Well, it's obviously not nothing. So pretending it's nothing does not accomplish a whole hell of a lot. Let's hear it. You, know, you can say it as a prayer if that's easier for you. Just step up to the plate, Tim, and fight like a man for once in your life. You couldn't do it. Oh, that's what you think? Is that what you think? You think I'm bluffing? Well, you know what? I am not fucking bluffing. Does anyone need to see another one? Is this a bluff? I don't think that's a bluff. Are we satisfied? I am not. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna break anything else. Okay. I'll be downstairs if you need me. Mm -hmm. She's a very special kind of girl. I'm a snob, huh? Sometimes. It would be nice if you told me these things in private first, you know? Like you and Sid, you could have told me that in private first. Did Sid tell you? Peter, I asked him. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I just, I didn't think it was important. No, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, he seems like your type. What's my type? I don't know. Tell me, I wanna know what you think. 
when I see you together, there's this thing, you know, you look like a couple. didn't I? No, I think it's fantastic. Oh, it's all perfect, and I'm trying to screw it up. Who is he? He's this doctor. He's older. But he's funny. He's great. He's really great. I just don't know if I can do all that. What do you mean? The whole happy wife thing. The mere idea depresses me. What do you think? Is it me? It would probably look better on you. Now, I never thought Wit would be the first one to go. Oh, I, I doubt she'll do it. Yeah? Back to New York, we could be roommates. Well, I'm getting a boner. <laughs> what? I'm 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 kidding. I'm see. I'm not. I'm. What the hell is with that? Hey, I'm kidding, Sid. God, I mean, it's just like you with your your sexual innuendos. What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about, Sid. Your, your, little, your little mock seductions. You leaning into me just now, this afternoon, you're all over me. This afternoon, I was drunk. Oh, I've heard that one before. I'm just tired of the teasing. I think you're projecting. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. You're a tease. Okay. You remember, when we were living here, that night, Ellie's sick, everyone else is out. Yeah. You and me, we stay here all night. We're listening to music. We're sitting on that couch, both of us, Sid, both of us, just waiting for something to happen. You tell me, you remember this. What was that all about? Guys do that, Peter, they hang out. Sid, you tweak my nipples, yes? You tweak my nipples. No one else, you don't tweak anyone else's nipples. So what, I, I think you're cute. I do. I'm, I, I'm gonna stay away from you, okay? You, you, you're not a good influence on my life. What do you want me to do? You want me to make a pass at you? Uh, no, it's a few years too late for that. Good. No thanks. Did you know I've never kissed a guy before? Really? Mm -hmm. Not even all those frat parties used to go to? Oh, come on, I dare you. <laughs> what? You... I, uh, huh? I just, it, I, I don't want to, you know, I, I might not be there in the morning. I'm, I wouldn't want to disappoint you. 
A little bit scared, are you? I'm not scared. No? No. No? I don't care. I'll do it. I've infected you with our seed. In a few minutes, you'll be getting... Just shut up. It's true. It's... No way to keep me still When your car's coming down the hill Tires singing on the road A love song that never gets old Lonely tune on the radio. Nowhere else to go. Driving next to you till daylight. Love keeps me blind and frees me. A thousand lights couldn't blind my eyes to you. Just a whisper, sweet sigh of summer. Breaking through, you know every road, and every road is leading back to you. Say you're mine, I love you. No, I think that life is more modest than most people expect it to be. Sometimes I fantasize about being totally free and crazy. I don't know, like. Moving out to New York on my own and doing something completely unpredictable. Like what? Oh, I don't know. Law school, maybe. So, Tim, what's going on in the land of the ladies? Yeah, you got your eye on anyone there, Timmy? It's you, Peter. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, God! So you're gonna call the fiance and accept? I don't know. I was hoping to relax this weekend and clear my mind, but you know, we're all having so much fun. Yeah, I'm already looking forward to my next visit. I like you when you're bitter. I like your pants. Well, thank you. to a place like this and live here for good. You think so? Yeah, I live in those farmhouses, have a garden. You wouldn't? No, I mean, I love nature, but I don't know. Hey, sweetie, suck in those cheeks. No, no picture. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna wait. If you take one picture, I'm gonna break your camera. 
Dave, come on. One for me. Just give him something to go home with. Hi. Hey. So Wit told me that you were packing your books last night. Yeah, I'm leaving tomorrow. Just like that? Yeah, I've been waiting around here long enough. What about your job? I'll call Monday. Sid's offered me a ride down to my parents, so... That's it? Yep. Well, at least Delaware's not too far. I want to stay in touch. Yeah, well, actually, I'm going to go to Nicaragua. What? Yeah, Nicaragua. There's a lot going on down there. There's communal farming and, um... A new banking system, so I'm gonna get involved. When did you decide that? It's been an idea for a while. So how long are you gonna stay? Indefinitely. Lonely tune on the radio. Give me the keys, I have an idea. Okay. Ready? Let's do it. Move it, sweet tits. Dinner is served. Hey, look at that whip. They still have your bonds. Oh, that's sweet. You gonna add some panties this year? Maybe. Chin chin. Chin <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, come on. This is just another idea. No, I'm all right. Oh, no problem. Take that. Thanks, Sid. No problem, man. How come you never did that to me? Um, because you have no neck. <laughs> you know, I really, I resent that. I you should. Have a neck. <laughs> you have a lovely neck. More drinks, please. Will you look at those pants? This is from Doug at the end of the bar. I told him you didn't have a boyfriend. I don't have a boyfriend. He's very shy. <laughs> oh, Dougie. <laughs> like your hand, you might want to like put it over the over the rail like that to like make it a little more stable. Like you know? this? Yeah, yeah, gentle. No, that's not, not exactly right. <laughs> Midnight train to Georgia, where was that? Let's see, 15. C-15. I can't believe you remember that. <laughs> He's a checkout guy. No. Oh, <laughs> nice. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, from the mobile. Yeah, it's like, got a little grit going. That gimp you know? leg thing is very... <laughs> oh, shut up, Wit. <laughs> you know how, like, blind people can hear really well? Maybe with his gimp leg, he does... <laughs> He's somehow compensated. <laughs> exactly. I was just going to say you should take that thing and, like, rip it apart with your cage. Like, just suck it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I have I I think I have an ace looking. Okay. Do it now. Do it seriously. Okay, you ready? So Peter, Did short you... story that you sent me. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. I was really impressed with the last batch of stories. So was I. I really was. I, really I, was. I, can't. Oh, I really can't because it smells, it, it, it smells it does it smells it smells good.
Everyone except Jesus seems the son of God, Ooh. so naturally. Of course. <laughs> uh, Anything secret? Yeah. I mean, visceral stuff. I mean, forget Chekhov and Shaw and Ibsen. I mean, they are incredible, but imagine a light just on me and words, words just put all over the stage and the ceiling just projected there and, and a voiceover of someone ranting in Spanish. I mean, people moving and dancing. I mean, fuck, they could be flying like in Peter Pan, you know? You can go outside. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. You know, I'm tired of being the, the gay one. You know, I mean, sometimes I feel like I, I, I shouldn't even hang out with straight people anymore. I should just cut them out completely. You know what I mean? I'm straight. No, no, I know. I, I don't think of you as straight. You know what I mean? You don't? Synergy, that's what it is. You take you take light and you take sound and you take structure and you put it all together so it's one thing. A line. A new discourse. You promise you'll drive really fast? Anything you want. <laughs> cool. Oh. I'll just ride like this, okay? <laughs> sure. Is that good? <laughs> oh, look at the stars. Ellie. What? Why don't, why don't you come home with us? <laughs> what are you, a chaperone? Listen, sir, I'd just, I just really like to sort this out. And I think it's probably for the best if we took her home with us. What? Come here, man. Come here, man. What? Look, see, I, I want to take you for a drive, right? You don't want me to. What do you think we should do? Huh? Think about it. Let's go. Sid, that was incredible. He's projecting the cheese mode there. It's very convincing. I want to make a scene. All right, sorry. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, I'll, I'll drive. that guy. What guy? You know, Doug. Well, he's a sailor, gimp leg. I think it's perfect. 
But he's not her type. I mean, did you see the drink he bought her? I don't think they're considering marriage, Tim. He's probably not even having a very good time. Well, why go with a guy like that? I don't know. Why do you go with any guy? something nobody else did I think you need to give yourself some credit for that <laughs> I swear to God my life has not gone anywhere well, neither is mine what are you talking about you are in a relationship one that you're happy with that's gotta count for something I don't know what do you mean you don't know I love Matthew I do. I'm just not sure if, um, I can see myself spending the rest of my life with him, you know? Does that make me a horrible person? No, it doesn't. Do you know what's why we're brave? I kiss you right now. Probably not a good idea, is it? No, probably not. I didn't think so. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe I better go upstairs. Um, some clothes out for you. I hope they're okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go start the coffee downstairs. I want to talk to you. Okay. Um, just let me do this and, and I'll be right back. back by now. Maybe they moved in together. Well, she's tied up in his basement with his underwear cramming in her mouth. Peter. Well, that's what Sid likes. 
I have to leave in half an hour. I have some things to get back to. Wedding bells are ringing? I'm not sure yet. But the idea of a registry seems very attractive. A virgin white wedding. Exactly. Five children, all girls. And the divorce. What? Nothing. What did you say? I, I'm sorry. I, I was just, I was just thinking, I didn't mean it personally. I, I was just thinking how we're all gonna get married and divorced like our parents. No, I should apologize for contradicting my reputation. I know how important it is to you. I said I'm sorry. No, you're right. The marriage will last two, maybe three years. Then there'll be some illicit scandal. My fault, of course. And a profitable settlement. What can I say? I guess you're not my last random fuck. I've embarrassed you. I don't think this is appropriate breakfast conversation. Right. Let's talk about townies. You, you two slept together? It's no big deal, really. It was over in a flash. I'm going home. I don't understand. We can't, we can't just leave. We're not. You're staying. Sid can give you a ride. Right, Sid? You tend to enter the scene at moments like this. Why do you let things like this happen? I gotta say, sometimes I wonder why any of us even put up with you. You know? Thank you. That's really nice to hear from a friend. A, a friend? Yeah. You. How do you act like a friend, Sid? No, what, what do you do that makes me think you're a friend? Huh? Well, I kissed you. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Fuck you. Oh, whatever, dude. Don't call me dude, okay? Okay, dude. Chill. Leave. Hey, dude. Get no, the fuck. No, fuck. No, 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 no. Hey, dude, I'm sorry. Where is it? I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Okay. 
here. Here, look at me. Look at me. Hey, Peter. go. I just want to go home with you. You all right? What happened? I need you to get everyone and get out. I think someone should go talk to her. I'll do it. I'll go. No, please don't. Why not? Well, human interaction isn't in your strong points. I'll go. I think we should just wait. Someone should go. Oh, no, just relax. How's it gonna work? I soaked the rags in the kerosene and it's under the circuit board, so 
I'll just blame it on, um, shorted fuse. He didn't have to say that about you and said. I know. Why do you do it? It's like you insist on everybody being as miserable as you are. I just want them to know the truth. All of it. Well, thanks. You really want to know why I told you? I think I had enough, actually. Because you're prettier than I am. You know, I'm not like second thoughts about Nicaragua. And all of a sudden, I don't want to leave. I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to sit in my room and read and walk outside, come back into the kitchen, have coffee with you. I like that a lot. I'm sorry. I know I pushed everybody too far. I'm really sorry. Ever since my parents died, I just, I can't shake it. Be all right. I don't know. If you say so, I'll do it. If I hit the can, Ellie will burn down the house. I guess we can relax. Okay. If I hit the can, I'll uh, give up riding, take a steady, low-income job with the phone gun. I like this game. It's so uplifting. I want to play. Yeah, I'll bet you do. Let's see. If I hit the can, I give up my acting career, which I never really managed to start, uh -huh. and become an investment banker. Good one. What's wrong? You missed. So I wanted to hit the can. Why? I don't know, I was thinking maybe after a year as an investment bank, I don't really want to act. It's very brave, Sid.
Hi. I'll be ready in a couple minutes. <laughs> Keep your head up. Don't lose yourself. You have way there. I'll show you. Great writers have signed their name in that book. And Peter, your name's in there too. I want you to think of it like a call from the future. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Nice here, isn't it? It's good for me, right? Yeah. Other than the fact that it sucks, it's good for me. Ready for the big apple? Yeah, I'll follow you. Bye. Bye. See you next year at the Waldorf. Either that or See ya. Tahiti. And my pants. See you in my pants. One year. Mom Blair. I can feel it coming down tonight We can't stay here much longer now The day is done, your friends are gone They kissed your cheek and you walked them down just as far Just as far as you dare to go Like the one who was lost to the wind 
It's not with me 